Hello, my name is Marcus with MLC CAD. In order to play a game, you need the right equipment. In order to do design, you need the right design equipment. Now, we all know SolidWorks is the right tool for the job, but what about all that legacy data? All those files that you pulled from suppliers or customers that you need to incorporate into your design? Well, SolidWorks 2017 makes it easy with the new 3D interconnect functionality. Let's take a look at how this is going to help us build a chessboard. I built my board in SolidWorks, and I decided to outsource the pieces to the internet. Luckily, GrabCAD had plenty of options for me to choose from. Now, you don't need to do anything special to use 3D Interconnect. Just insert a part or an assembly and choose the appropriate file type to filter down the list if you need to. I downloaded a queen, and I'm inserting that native IPT file. And it's almost indistinguishable from inserting a native SolidWorks file. It just drops right into place. Notice I didn't have to run import diagnostics. I, I can if I want to. I didn't actually convert it. I didn't have to save anything to the hard drive. Not only that, there are no dumb solid features in my tree. Just a special new icon that indicates that this part is linked to this non-SOLIDWORKS file format. I can insert these parts or assemblies with no additional files created, or as I did in this case, I can make the part a virtual part with the native inventor file being used as a tool body, basically a master model. Opening up the part file, you can see the linked body will remain parametric if any updates are applied to the original part. I can also add additional features, such as this new magnetic mates uh, functionality that I'm allow specifying right now. It allows me to specify the location point for easier assembly positioning. Just drag it into place and it snaps where you want it. Uh, I'm also going to need to add a scale function, since not everybody had the same size of board in mind when they designed these parts originally. But man, we're good to go. And so next, I'm going to open up a CATIA V5 part. Now, CATIA V5 used to require an additional license for the converter. They've included that functionality now in SOLIDWORKS Premium. So if you have SOLIDWORKS Premium, you can now open up CATIA files directly inside SOLIDWORKS. Again, same song and dance. Don't need to worry about import diagnostics since I'm not really converting and I'm not needing to clean up this geometry. Simply drop it into place. I'll grab a few more real quick. The next one we're going to grab is going to be the file format for Siemens NX, which is a very similar file format to ProE, the PRT file. Uh, this one came in really small, so we'll have to uh, clean that one up a little bit. I'll use this new uh, positioning dialog or the mate rotation dialog to quickly get it in the right orientation to make it easier to locate it downstream. The next one I'll go ahead and add is going to be this solid edge part. Another Siemens product, uh, another common product that's very difficult to work with because of the proprietary nature of the file format. It's very easy to just bring it right in. Again, very little format or very little uh, uh, modification required. And I do have to scale these. I do have to go add these, uh, these uh, uh, mate, magnetic mates to them so that it's easier to work with. It'll make gameplay a little bit easier down the road. And uh, you'll see that as I make these changes and as I apply these features, there's nothing different about my workflow than what I was doing inside SOLIDWORKS. If you make a mistake, like such as dropping this, uh, this rook or this uh, knight in backwards, no problem. I can always just go back later, modify that feature. It's a parametric model, just like any other model is in the, in the, fa the past. And this one came in with a bunch of bad geometry, didn't even have a, a solid plane or a point that I could attach to because this was a very uh, uh, NURBS surface. Still in SOLIDWORKS, that's never a problem to take care of. I'll add a ProE file. I've got a, a rook here that I'm going to bring in. And uh, when I bring in this rook, you'll see it looks like somebody's maybe compensating for something. Uh, it comes in a little bit big. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just go in and size that one down scale it to a more usable and appropriate size. Now you do have the ability to break that link and it'll look exactly like it used to previously where you have that imported body. And very often you want to use things like feature works. That's no problem. That's still functionality still works. Simply right click and break that link as you go. Now one last file format we support, no big surprise, SOLIDWORKS. Now we need to turn this guy around. Let me go ahead and, and uh, modify that that connection point, flip him so that he's ready to face the oncoming uh, uh, scourge of the enemy. And once I update that connector, he'll be ready to roll. Just need to make a few copies of some of these parts, maybe uh, make a couple of additional pawns, maybe grab hold of all these various different pieces now that they're done and apply an appearance to them. Uh, these are going to be the white 
uh, team, so I'll just go ahead and, and box select and apply my appearance, just like I normally would inside of SolidWorks. With the 3D interconnect functionality in SolidWorks 2017, it's easier than ever before to work with non-native CAD documents.